This is the second kit in Simon's Matchbox Challenge, the Fairy Swordfish. Find out how I got on with making it right here on Gary's Stuff. Hi, I'm Gary. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Channel viewer Simon John has set me the challenge of making a whole series of Matchbox kits. These were made by a company called Matchbox in the 1970s and 1980s. The design is old, the plastic is old, the decals are old, everything's old about them. But they're really interesting to compare with the experience of making modern kits. Some of them go together extremely well, I have to say. The one today is the fairy swordfish in 172nd scale, the famous old string bag torpedo bomber. Now, if you like the video, and I hope you do, please do remember, give it the old imperial thumbs up on the like button below, because every like counts. And another way to support the channel for free, of course, is to make sure you subscribe to the channel. Do hit that bell, and you'll be notified of all my future content as it arrives, and ways of supporting a channel in a more concrete manner are in the information box below. Okay then, let's make a start and see how I got on making this fairy swordfish in one 70 second scale from Matchbox. So the first thing we need to do is put these seats onto their supports. Let them dry, then they can go into the fuselage. I'm gonna put the um, air crew on the seats now because I've had a look at the cockpit and I don't think the pilot in particular will fit through the hole in the cockpit once it's all joined together so I've uh, painted up the pilots let's get rid of that there we go painted up pilots and um, pilot and observer I should say pilot and observer navigator whatever and they are going to go into the aircraft next. So for the putting the two halves together, we have to put the mounting for the rear gun in. Put the tag, I guess it's telegraphy stair gun, at the back here. Pilot at the front here. And then put the other half of the cockpit on and line up all these bits and make sure they all go where they're supposed to go. So there we go. That's all put together. You have to, this um, observer seat, there's a little step in the tab there and you have to put it on the step, not hard against the fuselage, otherwise it won't sit properly. The one here just sits straight into the tab for the pilot. It does seem to be sitting quite far forward, but yeah, you know, these pilots were keen after all. Good fellows. Um, yeah, and uh, just have to line up the uh, hole for the uh, mounting for the machine gun there. Then it all clicks into place. We can tape that up, finish up all the gluing, and get on with something else. Now putting the wings on, they slot the lower wings slot into place here. But there's also a brace that goes into the side of the fuselage, and there's a couple of pins down here. There you go, like that. And this kind of sets the angle of the lower plane nicely. The wings simply go together in halves. There's two locating pins on each wing to keep them in the right place. So, and then just tape them up and glue them up. The caban struts at the front sit in these little slots. There's a whole panel with the struts fitted to make it easy as possible to fit them and they sort of meet up in the middle as well so glue the panels in and a touch of glue in the middle there the upper halves of the wing likewise 
clip together and then when they are completed there's a center section that again clips together we should get them the right way around like so and then the whole lot clips together like so the <coughs> tailplane sits on here and there's some pegs for the fin and rudder assembly to go through so put a bit of glue on them and they go through these holes and into the fuselage like so before this dries completely you're going to want to put in these bracing rods for the engine we just put these i guess these are inlet pipes don't know if those are inlets or exhaust pipes i've painted them like a rusty brass just because i can don't know if it's real or not anyway uh just a little dab of glue to hold them in place down the side then these sit inside the uh this rear ring you can see there's a, a square tab and there's a gap in these cylinders that goes into there like so and then the collector ring for the exhaust goes on top there's a little peg to set it in place like so so i've painted the undersides of all the wings and the fuselage in sky so i've masked this off now i'm going to do the later on i'll do the lower wing surfaces here the, the top surfaces of the lower wings if you like they will be done in light slate gray and dark sea gray the top wing and the top of the fuselage and the top of the sailplane tailplanes here will be extra dark sea gray and dark slate gray so lower wings are slightly lighter than the upper wings and the top of the fuselage when the paints have cured we give it a nice coat of gloss varnish for the moment to seal it all in and also prepare it for the decals and i use um, decal solution here in this case it's microset and just apply the decal into place roughly where we want it take off some of the excess water with a cotton bud to start with and we can start to finesse where we want the decal to actually sit and then remove all of the excess fluid like so we start with the outer set of struts first just place them in and use regular um, cement because that's going to give you a bit of freedom of movement for the next bit which is aligning everything with the bottom plane then with the aircraft in a jig we can start building the alignment of all of the struts and with the caban in the middle here then we can put the main gear in the struts this into slots here on the underside of the fuselage then there is this forward leaning strut that sits here and the fuselage and the sorry the leg sits into it like so and do the same on the other side and while we're waiting for the main legs to set we can put the tail wheel in as well then when the undercarriage legs are secure you can put the wheels on note the wheels do have a very distinct inwards camber at the bottom 
we need to slot the windscreen into place as well. Get a bit of hair out of the way. Because it's attached. Of course, it's attached to the windscreen. Let's put the windscreen in as well. The torpedo sits on its mounts underneath the cockpit, or underneath the fuselage rather. The telegraphist air gunner gets a gun. And then finally, the propeller goes into place to complete the kit. There it is. It's generally a really lovely kit. It goes together surprisingly well, and it brings back many happy memories of having made the kit myself back in probably the very early 80s. I suspect I made this kit. So thank you very much, Simon. I'm looking forward to the next one. If you're looking forward to the next one, best thing to do, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, and at no cost to yourself, you'll be notified of all my future content as it is published. And of course, if you really want to support the channel for free, please do remember, give the video the old imperial thumbs up on the like button below there, because every like counts. Thank you so very much for watching. Hope to see you again very soon on the channel. Take very good care now, and goodbye.